this elements so in elements we'll be able to customize it into individual panel according to your requirement so to customize a particular element so we'll go one by one the first one is top panel so click on that panel so the first option is create so create is nothing but to enable or disable this particular panel so when when we uncheck this box and click apply that particular panel disappears from the carcass so when we generate the cutting disk for this carcass the top panel will be not included the same can be done in the edit cabinet command so go to this here we can uncheck or check this this one to enable or disable the top panel so this is the procedure we to enable or disable the power panel the next one is we can change the thickness of the panel according to requirement of this particular top panel the next one is corner set when we enter the corner set here as 100 or the required height the panel will move downwards to that mentioned dimension and this can be also done in the edit command where we mention the corner set and the next option is creation again this will come in handy when we are constructing any trapezoidal cabinets so again in base version since we are not making any trapezoidal cabinets we will skip that option and the next one is type there are two types basically the top panel which is this and also we have top structures so for now i'll remove the corner side so in top panel when we see we can see that the structure of the options get disabled here only the top panel options are visible so the first option this is visibility so again this is similar to that of create but the only difference is when you click uncheck this and click apply only it will become translucent and if we generate the cutting list for this we will not get the top panel included but uh, the difference is uh, when we use uh, the visibility option it will remain translucent as we see on the screen and again we will enable this so as i said previously to move it outwards or inwards we can enter the value so if you enter the positive value it will move inwards and if you enter the negative value it will move outwards but again there are other things we need to ensure before offsetting and also when you are entering the corner side that is the joinery so when you click go here when you go to structures and change the type to joineries by for example covering the side panels and now you click on top panel and enter the corner set as 100 mm we will see that even though we entered the value the top panel is not moving downwards 400 mm this is because the top panel is getting covered by the side panels so we should ensure that we must change the type of joinery before entering the corner set the same way when we change the joinery to in between panels and we give distance from right when you want to protrude it outwards you give negative value it does not move outwards because in this case this side panel is covering the top panel so which must change the type of joinery so we will change it to this type so now we can see when you change the type of joinery the it is protruding outwards 50 mm so that is about editing the top panel now we'll go with the top structures so when we uh, enable this we can see the top panel commands get uh, in, uh, disabled now we'll focus on the top structure so before that what i'll do is i'll remove this negative value click apply and now i change it to top structure so now when we click apply the width default that it is taken as 100 mm when we click apply we will get two stretches like this so now again to change the orientation to vertical uncheck this options and click apply so we will get like this and now what we will do is if you want to change the visibility so if you want only on the front you can click and click apply so we will get only on the front now if you want only on the back click only back and click apply so this all commands can be customized even in the edit command here or can be done on the top panel elements command so this is commonly used in an easier way again if you want uh, beginners they want the visual representation they can use 
this way this way to edit the stretches top panel we can also customize the bottom panel so click on the bottom panel so the customization of bottom panel is almost similar to that of top panel so we can again create disable or enable the panel by using this create option next one is we can change the thickness and we can change the toki guide so toki guide so before providing the toki guide we should ensure the type of joinery we are providing so if we give the covering type of joinery we can see that the side panels are getting covered by the bottom panel so we cannot provide this cutting edge so we should ensure that we are providing a uh, proper kind of joinery before entering the toki guide so the next one is creation again this is applicable for trapezoidal cabinets so i will skip this creation of uh, creation tool the next one is type so again we can construct it uh, with the help of uh, bottom panel or bottom structures so and there is an option called visibility to make it translucent or uh, make it in solid structure so again if you make click on this and check this box and click apply we will not get the bottom panel in the cutting list but it it will remain translucent click apply so we can protrude outwards or inwards the panel based on a requirement or from the back from the right or from the front or from the left so that's about editing the bottom panel now to change the uh, to structures we can click on top structures so now we'll get the top structure edit command so now change to change the orientation so if it is unchecked it is uh, it is they will get a vertical uh, stretches we'll get it like this now if you want uh, it to be in the horizontal direction click on this uh, click on this bottom structure and you can change it to horizontal so now when you click apply we'll get the construction like this so again we can change the visibility so if you want on the both we can enable both or if you want only on the front we can click on only front or if you want on the back you can click only on the back so we will get the stretches accordingly and element 